Hi, this is a quick lesson for everyday math third grade. We have homelink 1.5, and it's a data handling lesson called How Much TV Did They Watch? And the first thing we've got here is um, a chart of data about how many hours of TV kids watched over the weekend. And we need to put this into a tally chart. And the way that works, we'll just go through the list. Um, one number at a time and put it into the chart. So one hour, so we make a tally here. Three hours, one hour, five, and so on and so on until you've gone through all of the numbers. And there's not too many numbers here, so it shouldn't take you too long to get this chart filled out. And now we're going to take a look at this data and answer some questions. And I know from experience of teaching this before that a lot of students make some mistakes here because they look at these numbers and try to plug them in here. So they think, what's the minimum, the least number? And they think, oh, one is the minimum. And what is the greatest number of hours watched? It must be four. But you have to be careful which numbers you're looking at. We need the minimum numbers of hours watched and the maximum number of hours watched. And these numbers in the right column are the numbers of children. The hours are here. This is what we're looking for. So the minimum number of hours watched, this one child did zero. So our minimum number of hours watched is actually zero. One child watched zero hours, so good for him or her. Um, then the maximum number of hours watched, this person watched five hours. So that's the maximum. Now the range, you know, is the maximum minus the minimum. Hopefully, third graders can solve that problem. The mode is going to be the number with the most. And this one here, you can see this many students watched three hours. That happened more than any of the other ones. So that's going to be your mode. Not four. You're looking at the number of hours for the mode. And finally, the median. It's not hard to figure it out, but it does take a little bit more time to figure it out because we need to figure out which number is in the middle. So we're going to write this data in order from least to greatest. So one child had zero hours. Two children had one. And two had two. Four people had three, and I'm just going to finish writing all this. Hold on. And there it is, and you can see my minimum and my maximum easily in this chart too. But to find the middle number, we need to cross out numbers till we get to the middle from the beginning and the end. So let me go back and forth, crossing these numbers out. You can even cross off two here, cross off two here, back and forth until we see which number is exactly in the middle. We have five numbers here and five numbers here. So the middle number <clears throat> is right there. And sometimes if you have an even number, you'll have two numbers in the middle. So you could have two medians, just as you could have two modes as well. Uh, so that's how to look at data. And I'll put a link to a video that uh, explains everything a little bit more. If you don't know what all these words mean, um, watch this other video and you can see uh, a more detailed explanation of those things. So that's it. Thank you.